Hello, welcome to another episode of Pacific Northwest Beer Review. Doing another Ninkazi beer today, so we got the Ninkazi bottle opener out. Woo! Yeah, okay. Uh, we're doing spring rain because it's spring, it's Ninkazi seasonal, the rain, the spring, you know, it's all it's all going on. Um, before we start the review, yesterday was National Beer Day, so yeah, um, I actually didn't have a beer yesterday. Oops, I failed. <laughs> um, let's talk about Ninkazi Spring Rain for a second. It says it's an American pale ale, but it uses British malts with uh, Western hops. So, I don't know if you'd call it an American pale ale. Maybe kind of an American take on a British pale ale? It, it, it's kind of a gray area, I guess. Um, <clears throat> it's advertised kind of as a sh sessional, which means it should have lower alcohol, lower hops. But we're rocking 6% at, I think, 38 IBUs. So the alcohol is a little bit higher, but the uh, IBU from the hops right about where a session should be. The last session I had from Ninkazi was their Easy, Easy Way IPA. And that's 44 alcohol and, or 44 IBU, 4.4%. Not 44 alcohol, it's not rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's crack it open real quick and see what we got. I like the idea of calling it, you know, spring rain yeah, and spelling the rain as like rain, like, yeah, we rock. Uh, but also at the same time, you know, spring rain kind of gives you the idea that, uh, spring's here, you know, we should be getting a, uh, A nice, warm, but still have some rain. That was a really crappy pour. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know about you, but it's when it's warm out and it starts to rain and it hasn't rained in a couple of days, you kind of get that smell. And, uh, it's, it's nice. It's pleasant. So, you know, when you, when you think spring rain, you kind of think, oh, you know, drink beer. Enjoy some rain. It rains a lot in the Northwest. I get it. Yeah, this is good advertisement. <clears throat> we got a lot of barm on that one. It's not a very good pour. Not some of my finest work. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna run with it. We're gonna give it a little second to calm down here. Yeah, bring up the ball here for you so you can see the label. I think I got in a shot. <clears throat> yeah, it's got the giant Nikazi and it's got some flowers going on because, you know, springtime. Springtime! <clears throat> <clears throat> it's got a really nice malty smell to it. Um, and the color is, you know, pretty golden, pretty light. It's almost, I'd compare it kind of almost to the. Uh, the good chit pilsner. It doesn't quite have that pilsner smell though, but it's got it's got a nice malt smell. It's very smooth, very crisp up front. At the back you kind of get a little bit of a grassy floral hop finish. So it's not an IPA by any means, but you know, American Pale Ale. Yeah, we, we can run with American Pale Ale. I, mean, I guess it's, you know, our take on British uh, malts and American hops. You know, I don't know if I would classify it as American Pale Ale. What would be kind of interesting to do, though, one day is to uh, take a bottle of spring rain and try having it warm because the British... British drink a lot of beer warm, but I still haven't had a, a, a warm British beer. I haven't found any breweries that are, you know, willing to take the chance and make them. But it, uh, it'd be interesting. I don't know if a lot of people would be willing to try it, but 
have noticed when when beer warms up sometimes it brings out different flavors sometimes more flavors than what you would get if it was cold <clears throat> i'd imagine with uh spring rain that some of the some of the hot fl hop flavors would come out more so we get a close up on the barm it's very very white and foamy <clears throat> also the uh the bubbles on that coming up from the bottom of the glass. There's quite a bit there. Get a little bit of a spin. <clears throat> I think for the uh the Facebook picture, I think I'm going to try to get the light right behind it and get the bubbles coming off of it. Because, uh, it's almost, it's almost like the ideal picture of what people use for, like, advertising for beers. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. You could, you could drink a couple of those and, you know, 6%, probably sneak up on you a little bit, but You'd be having a good afternoon. <laughs> um, anyways, so that was the review for Spring Rain. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but I decided I should do Spring Rain since it's out and it's seasonal. We did Slayer a while back, and that was their winter seasonal, so we're going winter and spring. Uh, probably end up finishing the season before summer starts, hopefully. Um and then we might take some time off between season one and season two. So I might come back and do a fall winter or something. I, I'm not sure yet. And there's always, you know, beers that I will be reviewing that aren't seasonals. But, you know, I like grabbing the seasonals now and get them out of the way. And we won't see them again for a while. So and why not? Anyways, uh, Pacific Northwest Beer Review uh, on the YouTube. Facebook.com slash Pacific Northwest Beer Review. You know, find us there, like us, uh, like the videos, leave comments, share the videos. Um, anything you do to help out the channel is great. Um, been, been noticing the other day I changed the name on the YouTube channel from my actual name to Pacific Northwest Beer Review. So hopefully that'll give us some more hits and whatnot. Um, Anyways, watch the videos, like the videos. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.